Hey guys, so today I'm going to talk about a unicorn speculation. A unicorn speculation is one which can you can ride out to the sunset. Uh, it's not very common, and if you hit it, you you are good to go for pretty much that entire set. Now, the unicorn speculation I'm going to talk about right now is Crackling Doom. A lot of you know I have a lot of Crackling Dooms, and that was in October of 2014. I just kept buying them and buying them and buying them and I didn't stop. And now they went from 80 cents or 90 cents to $3.50. Uh, they're trading for pretty well right now. So yeah, that is a unicorn speculation because it doesn't it happens it doesn't even happen every set. It is a speculation which has you put a tiny bit of money in and it quadrupled in price. Obviously, at that point, you just got to get rid of them because even if you trade them for double, if you trade it for half their price, it would still be good because they double their price. Uh, when something quadruples in price, it also becomes very, very liquid. So something like Crackling Doom, people want that card now. And the reason they want the card is because they've seen it in a deck that they may not already have. And that's the reason the price has gone up in the first place. So when you look at a unicorn speculation like Crackling Doom, it is incredibly valuable. Um, it is incredibly beneficial for you to make that type of speculation. Now you might say, oh, well, is it once, you know, a blue moon? The last time I hit on something as hard as I hit on Crackling Doom was under Underworld <laughs> Connections. And that card was eight cents. But then overnight, it became a dollar fifty, and that entire pack rats like you you didn't even have to hit on just that one card. You could have hit on any of them, uh, Night Veil vale Specter, uh, pack rats. What else? De Desecration Demon was another one. But for me, Underworld Connection on under ah, uh, yeah, I think Underworld Connection, eight cents into a dollar fifty, a dollar sixty, like a multiplier of twenty or. I think it eventually hit like two dollars or two ninety nine even in trade. So when you went from eight cents to two ninety nine, even if you trade your card for a dollar, which makes that other person really happy, because to them the card's three dollars, to you the card's like eight cents, and that is what a unicorn speculation is. It is a speculation that can pay off pretty much a standard deck, um, and Crackling Doom has done. I have moved them easily. I have moved them quite easily, and people want them. Again, if a card goes up from $0.80 cents to $3.50 or more than that, if a card quadruples, more than quadruples in price, you can be sure demand is also going to quadruple or increase way more than quadruple in price because that is a deck. Mardu, for instance, was a deck color people did not play. Therefore, a lot of people did not have Crackling Doom. And you might say, oh, well, you know, they could have played it, they could have opened it, but that's not how standard players, that's not how they deal. If they have Crackling Dooms, it's because they open packs and somehow that was a Crackling Doom. They wouldn't have traded for them, right? But now Crackling Doom's in the tier one deck and they want to play the deck and they want Just Sky Black and they see their favorite pro tour player using Crackling Doom. So they're like, oh, well, of course, I myself am I, you know, very good at magic, so I will also use Crackling Doom. So the demand is there. Uh, I never worry when a card like quadruples, or in the case of Underworld Connections, what was that, like times like a ton? Times 40 in price? Is there like a word for that? Then why would you, like then you can trade them off like hotcakes. Like, and then you could trade them into Shocklands, Unfortunately, Crackling Doom isn't, you know, in that position where it could, and not because of Crackling Doom being bad. Uh, it's because that the fetch lands are just so insanely overpriced, in my opinion, that it's not easy to trade Crackling for a playset into a fetch land when it used to be really easy to trade a playset of Underworld Connections into a shock land, the one of the lesser shock lands. But Crackling Doom, uh, very, very strong, and it is what I call a unicorn. Um, a unicorn to me primarily means that it can buy you a standard deck or more. You can trade into a standard deck or more without too much work. 
and without too much investment. Like honestly, you know, these crackling dooms, let's assume I have 200 of them. That was like at 80 cents a piece, 160 bucks. I can trade those straight into any standard deck I want because 160 times like $3 is like actually 780 and 780, remember it's a liquid 780. So according to uh, my uh, calculations, I can trade it for uh, Abzan or Esper Dragons. Esper Dragons being the one I would trade it for actually. And without too much difficulty, like honestly, I can trade them, you know, play sets into other tradable stuff, like maybe um, whatever's at $10. So maybe I'll trade play sets into Kologan's commands and I trade my Kologan commands into um, Ugin's and I trade my Ugin's. It's, it works out very well if you have a card that people want. And when a card quadruples in price, that means people want the card. Anyway, hopefully that was a little helpful and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.